all right what's up guys wanted to make a quick video about this morning now every now and then we get stocks that are going crazy so this stock this morning as you can see this thing started out like somewhere around 12 dollars what was it 12 bucks this morning right around here right around here pre-market and then this thing explodes all the way to 60 dollars now as you guys know i basically trade my go time strategy so basically this morning this is basically what i was looking at green line right here is go time so as you know i'm jumping in really quick taking a huge profit so i basically you guys know my 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 daily goal is like a thousand bucks a day once i make a thousand or if i'm close to a thousand i'm done um sometimes i make a little bit more sometimes i make a little bit less it is what it is you know but my goal is a thousand bucks a day so i actually jumped in right here um as you can see kodk i jumped in at 1849 sold at 1872 so i made a quick 900 uh it was a little bit over 900 bucks real quick and then um at that point i really wanted to hit that um thousand dollar mark because that's my goal every day i try to hit a thousand bucks so at that point i really wanted to just hit my goal and i and i was just like man i should take another trade but this thing was so choppy i didn't really want to trade because i'm looking for the proper entry to get in and it just wouldn't give me a proper entry and then this thing was dropping from 19 dollars all the way down to 17 dollars. so it was very choppy so i'm i was kind of happy that i just made this amount and as you can see, I jumped in at um, 9.30.01, and then I got out 9.30.06. So that was five seconds. In five seconds, I basically made, uh, what was it, like 920 bucks. And then from there, um, I just wanted to call it quits. I didn't want to risk losing the money because this stock was just, this stock was just so choppy. But um, this thing went all the way down i didn't end up jumping anywhere else here it went all the way back down and then all of a sudden this started happening <laughs> this thing started going crazy making brand new highs it kept getting halted and getting halted and i'm like yo that's when i switch over to the daily chart and i'm looking back if you look let's go back here a little bit so I'm looking back and I'm like, wow, this thing has the opportunity. It, it has potential to go all the way up to $38, right? It has potential to go to $38. So now I go back to my one minute chart. And so, of course, at that time, it was somewhere around here. And I'm like, wow, this thing has potential to go to $38. And as you can see, it ended up going all the way up to $60. That's crazy, right? $60. So, um let me zoom in a little bit here so as you can see um once it broke that that mark that 30 dollar mark it had a nice little pullback and so i told myself you know what let me jump in if this thing starts making new highs and i'm just gonna go jump in and out very quick because this thing is so choppy i didn't want to risk losing my 920 bucks so at that point i said let me just jump in in and out if it, you know let me jump in let me wait for this pullback so i waited for the quick pullback on this candle here you know it wasn't really a one minute pullback but it was a pullback um um kinda, it kind of pulled back bounce on this support line right here you can see i drew all my support lines so it kind of bounced right here so i was like okay once it makes a new high i'm just gonna jump in and i'm just gonna jump out so i jumped in at uh 33.97 and then it popped up so quick i was selling and as you can see i took another two dollars and ten cent move and i sold at 3607 so at that point i was like wow this thing is powerful it got halted and i sold right before the halt opened up even higher and then kept going higher i tried to wait for another pullback because i really wanted to trade it another time because at that point i made 8400 bucks right there and then the other one was like 920 and so i was like man i need to try to break 10,000 so at that point when i tried to break 10,000 um i was like man let, let me try to break 10,000 cuz at that point i'm like 93 9300 right 
So now I'm, I'm like, man, I need to break $10,000 mark. And it just didn't give me an entry, a safe entry, because it, it was choppy. And it just didn't give me a proper entry. I should have jumped in when it broke over this line here. But I didn't. It was moving so fast. I just didn't. And then it got halted right here, opened up, and then went even higher. And so I didn't end up taking another trade. And good thing I didn't because this thing went over here. And next thing you know, it got halted going down, got halted going down again. And then all of a sudden, it opened up $30 lower. Imagine all the people who just jumped in somewhere around here. And boom, this thing just dropped on them so hard. So a lot of people might have lost a lot of money in this little area right there. But I was quick in and out, in and out. And I made... um. I made enough to just walk away, um, so I, I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to take too much risk. So basically, this is what I ended up with, um, and that was it. So uh, ninety-three twenty is what I did. I jumped in here, took nine hundred and twenty bucks. I was gonna stop. I was gonna stop at nine hundred and twenty bucks. I was close to my goal, but then this thing was just so strong. I said to myself, you know what? Let me try to hit that thousand dollar mark. And then I jumped in here, popped up two dollars and ten cents. So at that point, I was like, wow. I just made ninety three twenty. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I was just gonna stick with my um with the first trade, which was nine twenty. I was just gonna stick with that and call it a day. But I made almost ten times my daily goal. It's funny because the other day I, I only made like two hundred and forty bucks. <laughs> I only made 240 bucks. So you can see how crazy the market is. You know, there are days you're fighting for 10 cents and you can only make like 240 bucks, $200. And then there are days like this where the market goes insane. And, you know, in less than, look at the time on this 10.21.03. And then I sold at 10.21.07. That's four seconds. In four seconds. That's $8,400 in four seconds. Just learning the correct strategy and learning the correct time to jump in. Because a lot of people, they don't know the correct time to jump in. And they would jump in somewhere around here. And then, boom, they lose 30 Like, some people's accounts are probably destroyed because of this move right here. And it's just about knowing when to jump in and when to jump out. And thank God I took the proper time to educate myself and learn um, this strategy. Also... You guys, if you guys don't have trade ideas, if you don't have trade ideas, you're doing yourself a disservice. I put links below for trade ideas. So if you want to get, you know, how did I find this stock? On my scanner, on my scanner. As you can see right here, pre-market, K-O-D-K was number one right there on my scanner. That's how I'm finding these things. I set up my scanner. And if you look all the way, what time is this? 9.31. Let's see. Uh, it's not showing. I'll probably have to do a historic uh, search. But um, right here, KODK was number one on my scanner. Let me. You can see. You can see. Um, you can see, like, right around there. It's telling me KODK, KODK, KODK. It's telling me KODK is moving up. And as you can see, these were the other stocks right around that time frame that were moving up. But then it's telling me again KODK. So KODK was on, popping up on the scanner multiple times. All day today. So today, KODK was the obvious one. And that's why we ended up trading this one. And as you can see over here, let's pop up here. As you can see in the, tra in the uh, chat room right there. As you can see in the chat room, um, right about 9.23, I'm letting everyone know. It's almost go time because everyone knows we're jumping in at go time. What is go time? Go time is basically this green line right here. So if you're watching, this green line is go time. That's typically where we're jumping into the trade. So um, Mike was saying nothing looks good on the scanner. I said that's because everyone's looking at KODK. This was at 9.26 a.m. You can see 9.26 a.m. I was letting everyone know um, KODK, right? So now um, I told them it's a continuation from the other day. And plus it had news. Um, yeah, it had, it had news like the other day. Plus this thing was very – I traded it um, – I traded it the other day, I believe. And so it's a continuation. It was still 
moving. Um, it's still ripping up. I let him know. Uh, he said he noticed. Um, I just basically let him know, you know, it's one of these days when you can take a higher risk because this is a low flow stock and it's the only obvious one. You know what I mean? So Cliff said, yeah, it had news with Trump. OK, good. So we all agreed that KODK was the one. And this is all at this is at 927. And let's see. This is at 929. This is at 929. I'm saying if it's making new highs, I'm I'm ready to jump in. So I'm looking to jump in over 18.5. Looks good. Um, and as you can see, this is at 9.29. And then at 9.30, I'm saying, damn, I just took a nice win. Right? So literally one minute later, not even one minute, because this trade only took a few seconds, um, in and out, in and out. And so Cliff said he hesitated. And I'm showing them a screenshot where I jumped in. And then... Um, I was watching this pullback. It's very choppy. So this is the chat room, and then we, we went on and on. Um, and then this was the other trade. I took this trade, and I showed them a screenshot. Um, Cliff took 36. What was this? What did he say? 36 and halted. Okay, so, yeah, he was. we were we were looking at the price movements, and I'm sending them screenshots of uh, where I got in, where I got out. 8K in four seconds. That's basically what I made. Uh, 8,400. Um, yeah, I was expecting the thing to go over, um, th go to $38 and then starts tanking. But now I'm like, yo, if it goes over $38, there's no telling what this thing might do. And of course it went to $60. I wasn't, I was expecting it to go. I didn't expect it to go that much higher, but man, from 38 to 60, I was expecting it to, to top off at 38. Because if you look at the history on the daily chart, that's the highest point that it's been before if you look the highest point was right around that 38 dollar mark 37 and some change so i thought maybe at 38 it would have some resistance but this thing kept going it was super strong and i am so glad that you know i was able to capitalize on it and i'm so glad that um you know K kodk made a big move today so sometimes you got to take these risks man uh but man this is a big move this is a very nice move I wish it was like this every day, but uh, every day we're handled we're handed different uh, cards, and so we play the, the the hands that 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 we're dealt, and that's just how it goes. All right, so I hope this video wasn't too too long. Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Also, again, if you guys don't have trade ideas, this is how I'm finding these stocks. Everything's showing up right here on my scanners. You know, it's letting me know what's popping and what's doing obviously when you get trade ideas this the way it's set up is not the same as you're looking at here i actually have this set up this way um so if you guys have any questions about how i set up my my um trade idea scanner to find these stocks just hit me up let me know if you have any questions i'm happy to help and i'm you know i'll train you guys how to um i'll train you guys how to do what i do obviously it's not free but you know, my time is valuable, but I will help you guys as much as I can. Sometimes I do help some people for free, but, you know, my time is not free. So I do charge. All right. I'll chat with you guys another day. Man, this thing is still ripping up. So it dropped all the way back down. Now it's ripping back up. So you see how it looks right here. It's It looks like if it breaks this 4450 range, it's going to explode back up. So I'd probably be looking to get back into it once it breaks this area right there. Um, this 44.50 area would be a very good spot to jump in, 44.50. But, you know, I don't really trade in the afternoons. Um, you know, I only trade the first hour. And as you can see, the best time is between that first hour, that first hour from 9.30 to about 10.30 to about right here. That's pretty much the meat of the move. All right, so I'll chat with you guys another day. Um, if you guys have any questions, again, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, comment below. I'll talk. I'll talk to you guys um, next time I make a video. All right.